Democratic lawmakers here in South Florida as they thank President Biden for his years and decades of service and look forward to November. Local 10's uh, Terrell Fournay is joining us live in Plantation with more on that reaction that's been rolling in. Terrell. And Sonella, this was a surprise announcement for these local elected leaders. We can tell you that for the, for the past few hours or so, these uh, Democratic leaders here in Broward, Miami-Dade, and across the state, they have been shaping their response to this surprise announcement. Let's begin with Nikki Freed. She serves as the chair of Florida's Democratic Party. She says in a statement, quote, President Biden has been one of the greatest presidents in American history. She goes on to say, now is the time for, pre for Democrats to step up and secure the future of that legacy because the race may have changed, but our focus has not. This is the most consequential election of our lifetime, and Democrats must stand united to defeat Donald Trump, end quote. Let's move on to State Senator Chevron Jones, who also serves as the chair of Miami-Dade's Democratic Party. He says, quote, President Joe Biden is the greatest president of our lifetime. The nation is forever indebted and grateful for his years of service. It's time for Democrats to unite in support of Vice President Kamala Harris. She has my full support as the leader needed to meet this moment and defeat Donald Trump, end quote. Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, she took to X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, to say, quote, I love and respect Joe Biden immensely, and I have total faith in Kamala Harris and the American people who will help us beat Donald Trump, end quote. Congressman Jared Moskowitz also writing on X, I can proudly say POTUS will go down as one of the most successful public servants in American history. And finally, Congresswoman Frederica Wilson just released this statement not too long ago, saying in part, we must now turn our attention to uniting behind Kamala Harris and defeating Donald Trump in this election. She goes on to say Donald Trump is the most significant threat to our democracy, and we cannot be fighting amongst ourselves, end quote. So reaction is still pouring in from these Democratic leaders again here in South Florida and all across the state. And as we uh, get this reaction, we will certainly have more for you on later editions of Local 10 News and, of course, on our website, local10.com. That is the latest outside of Broward's Democratic Party here in Plantation. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.